Hello everyone. This video is going to be a little bit different than the previous ones that we've made. Uh, to start with, you should be seeing a photograph uh, that it's, it's an illustration that I had made in PowerPoint, but it's uh, two stills from a video that we had made previously. Now in part seven, after we had removed the nose case, we talked about the gear train um, that drives the push rods and the valves, and I had made some inaccurate statements. And so this video is really to clear up what those statements were, uh, make them accurate, and also to go a little more in depth about the drivetrain for the push rods and the valves. So in that video, I claimed that the camshaft, or a disc in this case, this is a radial engine, the cam disc rotates at one half crankshaft speed, which is not accurate. Uh, that is true of some camshafts in you know opposed type engines, but in this case, the cam disc actually rotes, rotates at one sixth crankshaft speed, and it does so in an opposite direction of rotation from the crankshaft. Now, what I also talked about was how the gear train runs, uh, and that was inaccurate, which is why we have these two pictures. So, to start with. The photograph on the right is the engine right after we had removed the nose case. And what it shows is we have our timing gear that is pressed onto the crankshaft. Below the timing gear, there's a spacer which is not pointed out, but it's there. And then below that is the cam disc, which is riding on a plane bearing, which is also pressed onto the crankshaft. Uh, and in the photo on the right, we have the nose case itself which has been turned upside down and we're, we're talking about the components that are in there so the the component inside the large red box is the cam drive pinion shaft and gear assembly that's the full assembly which includes two constituent parts which are the cam drive pinion shaft cam drive gear and if you look at the insert to the uh, right of that which is actually something that I pulled out of the illustrated parts manual there's some other things there's a washer there's a retainer there's a lock nut cotter key and uh, there's a bearing in there but the important parts are the cam drive gear and the cam drive pinion shaft assembly so um, what I point out in the video was that you know essentially that the the larger gear the cam drive gear drives the cam disc which is not true so the way this system works is the crankshaft rotates, but the obviously the nose case doesn't. Um, so the cam drive pinion shaft and gear assembly itself does not rotate around the crankshaft, but the gears do rotate inside that uh, that housing. So as the crankshaft is rotating, the timing gear is providing the primary input. The timing gear meshes with the cam drive assembly, um, and the cam drive assembly, because it's splined with the cam drive pinion shaft, turns the cam drive pinion shaft. The cam drive pinion shaft meshes with the cam disc, and that's how it rotates at 1 6 crankshaft speed in the opposite direction of rotation. Now, uh, why does it rotate in the opposite direction of rotation? So if you're familiar with how gear trains work, you know that the direction of rotation of any gear system will be the same if there's an odd number of gears in the system. Okay, so if you have gear 1 drives gear 2 drives gear 3, gear 3's output is going to be the same as the output of gear 1. If you have an even number of gears, um, then it's going to be the opposite direction of rotation. So gear 1 turns clockwise, gear 2 is counterclockwise, gear 3 would be clockwise, 4 would be counterclockwise. Um, that is always true for externally driven uh, gears. So in this case, uh, when we look at timing gear and the cam drive gear, those are externally meshed. And so you know, the crankshaft itself is going to rotate aft looking forward in a clockwise direction, which turns the cam drive gear anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, which means that the cam drive pinion shaft also turns counterclockwise. Um, so how is it that if that's true, the next set of uh, gears should rotate in the opposite direction, which would be the cam drive disc? Um, but if we look at how that's set up, the cam drive pinion shaft uh, meshes internally to the cam disc, which means it rotates in the same direction, which would actually mean why that that is why the cam disc rotates in the opposite direction. Uh, now, in terms of why the system actually rotates backwards uh, for our timing to work, uh, I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, that's something I have to dig into a little bit deeper. Um, but 
for all intents and purposes, that is how the system works. Um, that is essentially um, everything that I said that was inaccurate has, has now been corrected. So um, hope you enjoy. Tomorrow on Thursday, we'll be doing some more maintenance at the hangar. Um, since we're fully disassembled, the only things we have left to do are to disassemble the cylinders. And we've got some cleaning stuff to do before we do a little more disassembly. But after that, everything should be done uh, as far as disassembly. So um, look forward to having a good day of work tomorrow. And we'll make another video. And uh, just stay tuned for that.